So I'm going to edit um, that phone call. You can't see the light on this side with the light like that, but um, I don't give a crap. This is not a complaint. I'm just pointing out that probably 12 years ago, I was gonna say 10 years ago, I had a few spots like this um, that you can't see now, but but they weren't like even that was reddish. That they were like diarrhea shit stains, like all of them. And I asked Ray, I asked Ray if I could have some paint and I'd do it myself just to, you know, cover it up. Like it was that, that as if it's that hard. And uh, he said, no, we have to do it. So I took, just to turn this off. So I took um, my own, whatchamacallit paint, fine art paint. And I, when everyone knows when paint is wet, it looks the same color. And of course when it dries, it's not. And I never use fine art paint on a outside door like that of course so it it was a different color but it was like you know four or five polka dots if that on the outside of my door and um I wish I had pictures because it, it there may have been 12 polka dots I don't know because it was it was it looked disgusting and it looked skeevy so I just wanted to cover it up so it looked better that way than shitty at least but the point is, it just occurred to me that for Bataille to charge me, I mean, within a week, $80 to repaint the door, charge my mom, I should say, and I'm sure, you know, it was paid. This is so long ago, I barely remember. I just remember the conversation asking, why would you charge me for that? And the way he arrogantly goes about explaining this uh, stupid conversation um, it makes you realize that over 25 years, particularly before I lived here, he, I know he did it to my neighbors too. He would find them. I think it was about the same thing. It might've been $75, but for, for, uh, throwing certain garbage in a different thing. It was like he was his own little personal sanitation department and they were from another country. So I pointed out to them that this was probably illegal and at a time when I had a busy life and, you know, you don't, it's not like you obsess on these things as I do today, 15 years later. But when I first moved here, um, he probably was full on doing stuff like that to everybody and counting on undereducated, you know, uh, language, uh, barrier, things that he could get away with and hell, every week make a couple hundred dollars over 25 years adds up to an, the nice little Bentley he drives. It's not a Bentley, but he has a fleet of fancy cars. And, and I'm not going to take that away from anybody. Good for you. Like, be a rich man. But he's an asshole. And um, I bet he did a lot of illegal stuff over the years. And he didn't like me because I called him on it. And, and I probably, his neighbors probably said that you can't do this. They might have even taken it. I think I said you should go to the city because the city does stuff like this. And he's not, you know, he doesn't have paperwork with the city to like fine and bill people. So he, he might have gotten in trouble for that. Or I doubt it because he's like connected somehow. But, um, but that I believe is why Lou Bataille hates me. And you'll see... Um, like, I mean, I don't like what's her name across the hall, but I'm not, I don't give a crap about her door. I mean, they should redo the entire inside of the buildings are horrible, but, um, a little bit of paint, nobody's even going to notice it. Da, da, da. So that's not what this is about. People like to pretend that I'm petty and like focusing on stupid stuff, but that's not what this is about. This is about, I want to call it. That's not larceny. But the way they're trying to take this apartment away from my family is larceny. And so um, I hope someone will look into that. I talked to a cop a few days ago and they were like, you know, that's FBI stuff. You know, local police don't do stuff like that. Well, you know what? Pass it on. Pass it on, Lou. Pass it on.